Good morning from day two in Ischia. We have had a very lazy morning sitting by the pool, swimming, reading, and just relaxing. And of course, now we're hungry, we're gonna go and have some lunch down in the port area because there's a whole string of restaurants down there and we found a couple of good ones in the past. Now we've just gotta remember which was the, yeah, we're Questa. Era lui. Buongiorno. <laughs> so we found this restaurant last year because the man behind me, who is Anidio, who's the owner of the restaurant, he sits out there all day long and tries to lure the clients in. And Carl, of course, stopped and started chatting with him and made friends with him. And we sat here, it was completely empty, it was just us and the food was absolutely amazing, really, really good. Couldn't fault it. So we've come back again and they've just had a lovely chat. <laughs> We're just walking down to the castle now. We haven't been there for probably about five or six years, so we might go and have a wander around. House! <laughs> House! It's here that I've said. It's here that I've said. Yes. There's also Sky. Yes. I imagine it was going to be laughing. Yes. Yeah. We are up in the castle now. Um, we've just stopped off at the first little exhibit, which is a very spooky um, exhibit um, of all the last nuns in the monastery here and they've got big bowls of water underneath sheets with the nuns on with their names and I asked what the drops were and it's the dropping sound of the bodies decomposing in the cemetery under the church in the crypt. Very odd. There's a, uh, there's a mummy in there. Well, there's a coffin with a. Oh, somebody's in there. here is where they threw grapes and trampled on them to make wine. been very lucky today because there's hardly anybody here and it's lovely just walking around and having the whole place to yourself. There's a few people around but not many at all. Last time we came it was packed. We are up at the Terrazza degli Olivi. Yeah, I said that right. Um, the Terrace of the Olives. Anyway, I wanted to show you the view. In the background we have Naples. Um, this is a little island that's uninhabited here and behind it you can just see Proshida poking out both sides. Behind that you can see Vesuvius and that's all the Sorrento Peninsula and Capri. È vero. So some years ago this crazy person kayaked from Positano to here. So he started the other side of there, had to go all around the peninsula and then basically out across open sea. 
How many hours? Uh, nine. Nine hours. No stop. What time did you leave? Ah, sono partito alle sette. Non mi ricordo che sono arrivato, sembra le tre. He arrived just in time to get the ferry back to Postano and luckily they put his kayak on the ferry. L'altra cosa strana, a Positano non ci sono i capiani. Non è che ci stanno spesso, ci sono i capri. Holly, vieni qua. Eh, lo so, però... Non ci vedo il diverso, non so. Strano. Good morning, third day in Ischia and we are actually going home this afternoon. Um, it's still about half eight in the morning. It's actually quarter past nine, it's later than I thought. So I'm just gonna go down and have some breakfast. C'è quindi che pensano che è meno di quello. E poi c'è scritto, cosa lo giustifica? I got up for about two seconds. You are a chair thief, aren't you? Ti sembra un gattino. Non è freddo. Ma quando mai? Right. We are packing our bags. It's very quiet here today. Everybody's gone out. I'm gonna head down and get some lunch and then we're probably gonna come back up again, possibly have a quick swim, and then go and get our ferry home. So pretty here. If anybody knows what this tree is, let me know. Look how pretty it is. Doesn't Carlo look elegant in his white shirt? We should get him to dress nicely more often. I am going to give you some tips on what to see and do in Ischia, but rather than do it while I'm on the back of a scooter, I will do it as soon as we sit down somewhere and get some lunch. Okay, so here are a few of my little tips on what to see and do in Ischia. Um, I definitely recommend the castle. It's really beautiful. It's 10 euro per person and it's open from, I think, 9 a.m. till sunset. Um, if you're into hiking, hike up to the Mont Epomeo. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, because um, that's a brilliant hike to do as well. And the views from there are absolutely amazing. Um, you've got to visit one of the thermal spas if you're without a dog. You can't take a dog with you, so we haven't been able to do that. Nigombo or Poseidon are the two main ones. There's also two or three little free spas, like the beach at Sorgetto, which um, you walk down, it's like you walk down a cliffside, down the steps to get to this beach, and the waters are hot, 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 and you can cover yourself in thermal mud um, and that's really good fun to do as well. Maybe not a great idea when it's about 36 degrees Celsius outside. Um, other things to do in Ischia, uh, hire a scooter, drive around, visit all the little towns. San Angelo is a beautiful one to visit. Um, Foria, we haven't been there this time, but that's a lovely little town to visit as well. Hire a rubber boat for a day and you can drive all around the, the island on it. And you can also go over to Proshida dock in the little harbour there and have lunch in the harbour in Proshida and come back again and you can get all that done in one day. We did that last year. I didn't film it because I was having a proper holiday last year. Two restaurants I can recommend you in the port area are Da Emidio, which is where we went yesterday with the lovely old man Emidio, who is the original owner, and this one which is called Taverna Antonio. This one also has a healthy menu selection, so they have salads with um, spelt and with quinoa um, and it's got slightly different things so it's quite an interesting one to go to. No, 
Todo. Todo. We have just got back home. I hope you've enjoyed coming to Ischia with us. We've had a lovely little break and it's back to work for all of us now. Hey Sally, go on. And it's nice to be home. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and you can follow me along on Instagram at Nikki Positano if you want to see what we get up to every single day. See you next time, bye.